Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Microbit. It is a little tool that you can use to learn programming. It is an open source hardware ARM based embedded system design. It is designed by the BBC for use in computer education in the UK. So basically what it does is it's it's a piece of hardware that you can like easily program and it is beginner friendly and it can actually help you learn, uh, you know, basic programming. You can program in it in all sorts of programming languages and one of them is Python. So let's get into it. There is actually a Python editor built into the website. You can actually just go to python.microbit.org. So once you open this web page, you're going to be greeted by this screen right here. So what this is, is basically kind of like idle for Python. You can actually write your code here. You can actually import all sorts of modules. You know, it's like uh, random and it will work, it will import it. So I'm guessing that you can import most of the modules that come pre-built with Python, but some of them just make no sense because you're not going to import the sockets, for example, if you don't have any network connection or your micro bit. You can have Bluetooth on your microbit and you can actually connect uh, like, uh, you know, headphones and stuff like that so you can play music. All right, so let's get into it. So uh, the first thing we have to import is the microbit and from it you can import everything. So the next thing we are going to, we don't need to import random, but we are going to do a while loop. We want to make sure that everything is executing uh, all the time. So like as soon as we plug in the microbit, we want it to keep going and executing whatever we write in the program uh, all the time. So what it's going to execute all the time is display the scroll, hello world, and then display the show image heart and then sleep for two seconds and then over again. All of this and then do this infinitely so what does this mean display the scroll basically means just scroll these letters so unlike the show it will actually show the h letter so h will slide to the left and then coming from the right there will be e so and then L and then L and then O and then you, you can guess how this works basically. Unlike this, the display the show image of the heart is actually going to display the image of heart and then just wait for two seconds. Keep in mind that you have to put the sleep there because sleep actually determines how long the will stay on the screen. So let's take a look at the code that I actually wrote. It's a really short code and a really simple one just to like show you how this works. And I have it right here and let's pop it in to the load. And once it loads, I'm going to show you what we have here. So we actually imported uh, microbit twice because I've had some issues with it. I don't actually know what happened. I think it was microbit dot something. I'm guessing that uh, it's because of this button thing. But let me just show you how it works. So we're importing the random modules so we can pick randomly from our lists. And in our list, we have a bunch of pictures that microbit offers us. And then we have have, uh, an example image that we can customly make so you can actually make your custom images and we have some text that you can actually print out as well and then we have a list that actually contains text for the scroller so i made two things a uh, while through it's going to loop all the time display to show random the choice from data list so it's first going to show something from data list and then wait a little bit and this is going to be just one of these and the next thing what it's going to do is going to check if the button is pressed so uh the problem here is it will wait for the checked button but it will wait until this is done so so while the sleep is going on, if you press the button, it's not going to react. So you, you kind of just have to like press it twice, maybe, and you're eventually going to hit it or while this is lasting or similar because of the while loop. You can remove this, but then the problem would be there will be nothing displayed. So now this can be uh, dealt with, but this is a bit too more advanced for, for right now. So we have two statements. If the button is pressed, so microbit.button A is pressed. This is actually a built-in function. So if the button A is pressed, we can actually do display.scroll and we're going to scroll through a random choice of scroller, which which is one of these. So we're going to, let's say, scroll through why are you looking at me? And it's going to scroll by going, as I said, from right to the left, uh, W and then H and then Y. And the next thing is it's going to sleep for 0 0.6 seconds. And then the uh, next thing it's going to do is it's going to show the image that happy and it's going to wait for 0 0.6 seconds. As I said, you do need to wait a little bit. So the image goes through. I don't think you need to wait with scroll. I don't think it's absolutely necessary because scroll will scroll until the whole text scrolls by. And then you have, as I said, the image and then if the other button is pressed, so button B is obviously the right one and the A is the left one and does the same thing and then it does that all the time. So what I wanted to show you is you can actually put strings like this and you know you can write whatever you want and you can actually pick these image dot something and there's a lot of these. You can actually look this look at this in the documentation of the micro bit. And another thing that I wanted to show you is you can make your own image. So let's say we want to make uh, let's let's pick something uh, simple because I don't want to get complicated. So let's put this here, right? So this is our image right now, and the only thing lighting up right now is the nine so how does this work so zero means don't light up at all and nine means light up the strongest so all the numbers in between will obviously light up less and less from like uh, eight it's going to light up less than nine so what we want to do is we just want to pick which ones do we want to light up and how does this work well these are actually sort of like that and just remove the semicolons just make make yourself something like this so you can actually see how it's going to look like and it's going to be easier for you to draw uh, what i mean by this is let's say we want to make an x sign so let's just pick nines all the way right here 
And what this will do is you will light up the nines and now we have the X sign. All the zeros right here are not going to be visible and nines are going to be glowing. So how are we going to pack this into this? Well, uh, first of all, we're going to remove all the spaces. But before, let's just make sure that we uh, make this of less brightness. I think it's just going to be cooler. So let's say, I don't know, six. Let's just say sixes and let's say three right here. And so now we want to pack this into this shape, basically. So how are we going to do this? Well, you know, the plus plus, you can hold alt and you can just select this, delete that. And you can do the same thing for the next row, hold alt and you can use your mouse. And then you can hold alt again and just select all of that, hold alt again, select all of that. There you go. And now what you want to do is uh, instead of, you know, commas, you can actually hold alt right here. And I think we're just going to do the first four because the last one doesn't have the double dot. And I can do a uh, backspace, just uh, put this back where it belongs. Uh, brackets or whatever they're called. And do image again. And there you have it. So this is our X. And you can actually pick this and just put it right here. And since it's a Python list, we need to put the comma as well. And then the last one shouldn't have a comma. So that seems to be it. So we can actually now download the code and we can open and let's just cut it out and put it into our i'm just going to put it in this folder until i plug in my micro bit so let's grab the micro bit all you need is the usb and then you can just plug it into your computer you don't need to install anything just plug it in and once it's plugged in it's going to appear right here in windows and uh it is this one and i'm going to going to copy your code the hex file and you're just going to drop it in and now it's going to disappear and close the explorer once it's uploaded and then your micro bit will show you what is it doing all right so that's it and now it's displaying images and so now if i press the button it will actually show one of the images and if i press the other button it should actually show one of the other ones it should actually show one of the other ones and now it's displaying this all the time You can actually make all sorts of projects with Microbit and make sure you, you discover that as well. I just wanted to show you how it works with Python in just like simple examples. It's actually a pretty cool thing you can actually make. It can actually react to shaking and stuff like that. And from what I figured out too, like if you leave it on the left side, it's going to, it can say left and on the right, it can say right. So it can detect that as well. And it's pretty cool. You can actually go to projects right here and you can see the design challenges and stuff like that. Quote, make it and code it. And as I said, it's mostly for kids to learn programming, but then again, you can also use it for a bit more complex stuff. As you can see, being active, make plants uh, grow, a night safety, whatever you want. So. Basically, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.